a cute dispute. Can you make a video on all this please I would love to get this set up. Right now I have to use boom mic from PC and record my video, body cam, and audio, then record gameplay on yeah, Quest yeah. 2 itself. Today I'm going to be showing you how you can stream and record content directly from your Oculus Quest 2 to your PC. I believe this method is the highest quality, best working method with no in-game lag. So if you guys like the video, make sure to leave a like down below, subscribe, and comment and tell me what you think of this method and if you will be streaming from your Oculus Quest 2 to your PC. Alright guys, so just to preface this video, I know there are less expensive and easier methods to, uh, to stream and record with, but this is the best method that worked for me and the biggest part um, that I needed to, to figure out about this was I needed there to be zero lag in game because I was dropping frames and lagging a lot when I'm casting and, and doing the other methods like quest developer hub. So this is what worked best for me. Um, with this method, I don't get any lag whatsoever in game. So especially in a game like population one, if you lag for a second, it'll get you killed. So first things first, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to download side quest. Okay. Um, you can download SideQuest at the link in the description, or um, you can just type in sidequestvr.com slash setup dash how to. And right here, download SideQuest for Windows 10. All right, so now I have my headset connected. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go over to Wi-Fi, connect. Sometimes it does not work on the first try. I don't know if it's just a glitch or what it is. Okay, so I could go ahead and disconnect my quest. And as you can see here, it did not stay connected. Let's connect it over Wi-Fi. Let's try that. It should stay connected when I disconnect. And it did not. 2,000 years later. Okay, there we go. It looks like it was finally able to connect. So now that you have your Oculus Quest 2 connected over Wi-Fi to SideQuest, I can go ahead and disconnect my headset. And as you can see, it stayed connected. Now what I need to do is I need to click on streaming. What I always do is I do a Quest 2 crop. It's already cropped. And I leave the rest of settings the same. And I click start stream. There we go. So as you guys can see, you now have your gameplay video on screen. So now the only two things left to do are getting my gameplay audio and my own audio. So my voice onto, uh, onto the stream or the recording. But when you're streaming to SideQuest, it doesn't record or... Um, stream your in-game so the way to fix this is i bought the tau tau audius <laughs> audius so the way to fix this is i bought the tau tau audio wireless transmitter and receiver okay so basically they both have a transmitter and receiver mode okay that's what it looks like Basically, these both have a uh, Bluetooth signal. You connect them to each other, and once they are connected to each other, they will turn blue. There will be a blue light right there on this one, and this power button will turn blue, and that's how you know they are connected to each other. Now, what I do is I take the that is in transmitter mode, and I connect that to my headset, and then I plug the audio jack into this and then the other uh, part of the audi audio jack into my headset. You are also going to want to take receiver. So this one will be in RX mode and you connect this one to your PC. Go into your PC mic in port. So now that you have this one connected to your headset, the transmitter in TX mode and this one, the receiver in RX mode connected to your PC mic in port, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to create an audio input capture on OBS in the sources section of OBS. And then after you create that audio input capture, you go to properties and then you set, you set the device that you're using to be 
the microphone on your PC. So it will, it will, it'll be called, for me, it's called the microphone Realtek R audio. So now you might be wondering if the transmitter is taking up the one 3.5 millimeter audio jack on the Quest 2, how can I hear what's going on in game? Well, that's the thing you can't unless you buy a 3.5 millimeter audio splitter. Here is what that looks like. Okay. It has one male and then two female ports right there. Okay, and last but not least, you need to transmit your voice into the stream or recording um, live, obviously. So what you're going to do to do that is you need to get a wireless mod mic. Now, this is the one that I bought and I found the quality is very good on it. It is the Antilon wireless mod mic. Okay, this end goes into your PC. This one will go attached to your headset because it comes with a magnet. You just put that right there and boom, you got yourself a wireless mod mic. Now all the audio that is uh, coming from you, from yourself, will be transmitted over to your PC and then you just set this as your main mic on OBS and it works perfectly. Next thing that you will need is Velcro. Get, get yourself some Velcro because a lot of these things you're going to need to Velcro them to your headset. Velcro the transmitter and the power bank to your headset. The last thing that I bought were open back headphones with a short audio cable. Now the reason I bought this was because I needed to be able to hear my chat um, talking to me while I was playing the game. So. Since these are open back headphones, the sound, the sound bleeds in very nicely and um, it'll mix your game sound with the sounds out in your room. And since I have speakers, um, whatever chat types in chat, I can, um, I can hear what they're saying through these headphones. All right, guys, so that is going to be it for the video today. Make sure if you like it that you like and subscribe and comment down below on your thoughts on this uh, recording slash streaming method. Also if, also, if you guys would like to know more about my setup, like my camera setup and my lighting and all of that stuff, it is, uh, it, it's also kind of complicated, so I'll leave that for another video. But thank you guys for watching. Peace. So now there's only two more steps to getting everything that you could possibly need for recording or streaming. Um, the next step is actually to get a power bank, okay? The one I got is the Anchor 20,000 milliamp hour power bank from, um, from Amazon.